talk about data bricks udf function so we are going to talk about user defined function scoping and permissions of sql udf and simple control flow function and first we are talking about sql then we are talking about python one and let's do this one so here i'm doing the setup and here the udf is create or replace function and then we name the sales announcement then we are passing two parameters and returning the string it's the return type and the return is concat the item is taller item into 80 and so if you use here then it will give uh, the premium the and then premium mattress is on sale dollar uh, one three into 0.08 right so now that function is applies all the values of the columns parallel functions uh, with the spark processing engine sql udf is efficient way to define the custom logic that's optimized execution in database right so scoping and permission of sql udf see it persists between execution environment which can be include notebook uh, db sequels or jobs existing object in the meta store are governed by the same table acl database table and view so at the water the table access it's the same and sql udf you need to use uh, catalogs or catalog you use it schema or create function in the schema you can describe function describe function is the extend keyword describe function extend keyword so it will say the name hi meta store and hi meta store this is first and with my frame q don't uh, help this is my schema and this is function name this is scalar input is item name input price return is a string determine is true 16 dollars return so simple control flow function so we can use simple control function it's the same we use case statement and then we return this result so this is the sql so i'm going to talk about uh, one more function which we go here workspace and then 2.2 oh okay so we are going to talk about uh, some other function which is let's go here workspace and external data yeah so we are here python udf and let's run all so in this one defining function creating applying udf create uh, register a udf with python decorator syntax python udf udf python's uh, udf or you can type the udf uh, panda's udf right so can optimize uh, catalog optimize can't op optimize catalog optimizer function is serialized and sent to executor row data is deserialized from a spark native binary format to udf so the uh, so here spark.sql and then we are reading tables then sales table display table so that these are the data which we have and we created function first later function email and written emails the first letter so here the function if is just python function and it written a right so create a an apply function so udf we need to call the udf we might have imported in our code and first letter function and it's calling to the function first letter udf and then we need to python sql function and column and display sales df this is data direction is select first letter udf then column and we need to do like this way so this is the first letter transferring use decoder syntax we can use as a string as a output and output is a string first letter udf and a string to string like this one so this one also we can use similar way the calling is same pandas vectorize udf so this is c plus one cdf and sub, sub version means so pandas udf are available for python to improve the efficiency of udf pandas udf are utilized apache arrow to speed a computation so you can also read some blogs about this introducing uh, pandas udf for PySpark and there are blogs and how it's going to works and 
we can use a parse arrow a par, uh, three point you should always define the pandas udf using python type hint import as pandas python is part function pandas udf then a string vectorize this is the way we wish to so these these are things you guys can go through various lecture and i'm going to include in my lectures and you can learn about this one more how, how it is working udf in sql because these are very important parts you can learn about sql documented thank you please like and subscribe my channel